All right, so the second game we are booting up is called The Convenience Store. Now this one is a couple years old, and I know I've seen quite a few other people play through it, but I mean, that doesn't mean we can't play through it either. So this is The Convenience Store. It uses lower quality graphics, I believe, as the aesthetic choice. Um, really puts a very kind of uneasy feel on all the characters. It reaches kind of that uncanny valley. It's time. Need to get ready for work. It is dark outside, yes. Okay. Eat bento, yes. Alright, I don't know if there's much more we need to grab. Actually, what would it look like if I turn on camera effect? Wow. Changes the vibe entirely. I feel like maybe we should keep this on since that's the default aesthetic they're going with. Very dark. Very quiet. Very spooky. Like, it is dark, but you'd expect to see at least one person roaming around, right? There it is, the titular convenience store. With some dude sitting outside. You good, my guy? Called to warn us all? By the name I cannot speak of, the day of judgment will come. Very cool, my guy. Very cool. Yeah, you, you got it, pal. Bring you some food so I don't get smited, I guess. Are we getting a job? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. Oh. There's an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Oh, scary shit. If only this was a true story. Haha. -ha. Sorry. You got it. Yep. Same way. Oh yeah. Take out the expired ones. How lovely. Trash. Yeah, here we go. Maybe we could have given it to the other dude. Anything on CCT I need to see? There goes a co-worker. Alright. Leaving or nope. There's something wrong with that door. Hmm. Package, it seems. It's kind of late for delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. For me? It's kind of strange. Guess we're taking it home. Oh. Uh. VHS tape. Do I have? I do. play sure let's let's see what's on this thing nothing so far very cool oh okay what am I looking at what are we looking at something closed off is that is that it is that all we got Was it nothing okay Nope. It's our 
first night, apparently. Oh, it was insanely dark. We love the brightness a little bit, actually. That really didn't help a whole lot. I am having such a difficult time seeing where I'm going. Like, all the lights are just absolutely subdued, if not completely turned off. Alright. Hit or leave you, dude. So they're getting a guy to check the sensors to... Make sure the door isn't opening up on its own. This will clock in. Get all that done. Saw some rats on the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. First person to see the snow has to get has to get rid of the road. It's ASAP, your manager. Fantastic. I guess that's me then. How do I do that then? How am, how am I gonna go about ridding ourselves of rats? What's this? A oh, rat spray. Rat be gone. Rat be gone. Five. Okay, one more and six. I just killed all those rats, I'm not going to lie. I don't think the rat man's going to be very happy about that. Oh. Customer. Old lady. Riveting gameplay, guys. Riveting gameplay. What's up, guy? Oh, all right. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. Okay, you could also, crazy thought, do it yourself, lazy fuck. <laughs> yep, welcome. Dick one. Don't right there, old timer. You, you good, lady? Uh. My. my So she's uh, a bit insane. Nope. Did someone just come in? Didn't see anyone? Suarez saw someone come in. Delivery guy back? Got a package with them though. What's up? Uh huh. Package and easy picked up here. Um, here it is. Here you go. You know I don't know if I'd be able to to last in a night shift environment. I don't think I don't think I could do this. They just did the monotony of it all. Oh. And that started the second night. It sounded like someone just closed the door. What's this? Umbrella as it's raining. Grab our dandy, daddy, dandy flashlight. Hello? Package. Another VHS tape of some kind. Watch closely to this random VHS tape. What am I looking at? Instead of a... Okay, that revealed... Nothing of consequence that I could make out. Very rainy, very loud. I can barely hear myself think. Oh, the game makes me very uneasy, despite the fact nothing really is happening. It could just be the total absence of light, save for a few select encounters, but it does make me somewhat uneasy. Where is our coworker? Okay. Has the entire shop just been left unattended, or what? Fuck, fuck me, dude. What the fuck is your problem? 
son of a fucking bitch. I'd be get fired. Some products are missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please stock them by tomorrow morning, your manager. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna fuck around and find out is what I'm gonna do. Over here. There we go. Huh. Here to be stuck. Our coworker left, so it's not him. One just came into the store too. Oh. All right. We're pretending like that was a totally normal occurrence that we just need to ignore and not acknowledge. Oh, I'm I'm restocking. Give me a minute. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss is desperate to keep the food fresh. Don't mind me. I'll just be outside. Okay. Go for it, my guy. That, that's on you working out in the rain. Uh, do what you gotta do. Uh, the tape has been broken for the back. Maybe it's the rat man. Back for his revenge. Why am I doing this? Found a key. It's lovely. It's a shed, okay. Door is unlocked. Huh. Can't open it. Alright. Not sure why I just tore apart that AC unit the moment that guy left, but. Here I am. And the guy's gone. No idea what that was about. There's a car here. Someone in here? There's a car right here. Alright. Getting that for you. There you go. I'm the only one working here. Couple girl puts some midnight shift along. Oh, cheapskate. Oh, thanks for the protection charm. Is it raining through the ceiling? It is. Something else I need to refill. Do I need to go? Nope. Ghosts do be shitting. Hey, you wanna, wanna let me out? I'm like. Do I got like a fucking man eating toilet over here? Oh, great. Look at this fucking mess. Hello. There's fucking going through CCT footage or what? Oh. Yeah, that was wildly unnecessary, lady. You, you didn't need to do that. Who the frick do you think you are? Coming into my fucking convenience store this time of night, acting all goofy like that. Like, what, 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 do, I, what do I do with this talisman? What, what am I supposed to do with it, huh? Put it on the fucking toilet? What, 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 do, I, what do I do with this, huh? Where, where do I put this? I put it on this. Exercise the door. 
Oh, there's a dead guy in there. This is our co-worker. Oh, the manager? We appear to be locked in here. Oh, a bunch of dead rats, too. Lovely. Uh, uh, e. I told you the rat man wouldn't like this. The man, rat man wouldn't like this at all. Just, we just went home after that like nothing was wrong what do you mean third night what what do you mean what do you mean third night so we just there's some, still something we need to do apparently no idea what that could be um maybe shit ourselves after that misadventure oh cassette tape lovely All right, what, what's on it? What, what kind of horrors could be on this this time around? Horrors beyond our wildest imaginations. Oh, it's the door. Cool. Huh. It told me so very little. It told me so, so very little. So... To recap, um, manager is probably just fucking dead, and uh, we just kind of slept it off. Now we're just going back into work like there's nothing wrong at all. Like we didn't see a ghostly apparition scare the shit out of us. I guess change our fucking pants. This flashlight does jack shit, by the way. Ain't doing nothing for me. Like how this ghostly apparition aside, you know who I'm gonna haunt? This poor fucking girl who was working a night shift, barely making fucking rent. Working god-awful hours, the manager's kind of an asshole, who was apparently dead now. Um, let's just fuck with her life. Let's let's go with the, the poor unfortunate soul. And uh, just ruin her life even more. That seems like the prime person we gotta go for. And surprise, surprise, manager isn't here because he's fucking dead. Like these, this is all still open from the other night. Like that's still open. The fuck? No idea what I'm hearing from that. But I'm not liking the sounds. Yeah, the manager, manager is totally dead. He, he's 100% dead. Because he's always here when we show up, but he's not. So this is going to fucking pop out of the locker again. No note, no sign and punching card. Just good old CCTV. So we can see more ghostly apparitions. It's gonna scare shitless. What am I looking for here? What am I? What am I doing exactly? Do I explore the ground? Oh. Seems a bit um strange, if you ask me. Like, what? What are these? Oh, like rusty giant nails or some shit? Like what? Bunch of TVs. What was 
that? Is there like a specific sequence I have to put them on in or what? Uh, that is a child. I think it's even the order of the TVs to turn on. Maybe it's this one? Then... Nope. That one. One over here. Nope, not that one. Um... You, you doing okay, kid? Uh. We just. Okay. We'll just ignore that. Any of that happened, I guess. Features tape. Lovely. Okay, we uh, left it on the floor. Very cool. What if we just send it off to someone else? What happens? Oh, I got ending one. Several nails. It makes sense with the nails on the ground, but what about all of the VHS tapes and the TVs? Like, what was that all about? Is the fucking manager is dead. Like, we saw him dead, and then he never showed back up.
seems not all that dissimilar from a mixture of like the ring and the grudge in terms of formulating VHS or uh, ring from the VHS tapes but the grudge is from the the family background and the continuing hauntings and the mother and the child combo there Alright, so that was the first ending, so I'll try to circle back around and get the other however many endings there are, probably one or two more I would imagine, and that'll be it for the convenience store. Bring me food or you'll receive eternal punishment. So can I bring the expired food to him? Is that something I'm going to be able to do? Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is where we ended last time. We'd either send it off or watch it again. So we're going to watch the next tape. Let's see what happens. Oh, so recording us in the sanctity of our own home. Sanctity of our own home. How lovely. Rumbling, all right. Okay. Can I move? I can't move. Okay, nope, that was the entire game. You had the two options. Either you play the VHS tape and you get your neck snapped by the ghost, or you refuse to look at it and you live. Nothing really more beyond that, it seems. That's just kind of it for the game. Overall, I mean, for what it is, it isn't terrible. Um, it's a little bit clunky, a little bit on the older. It feels a bit unpolished in some aspects, but I think that adds to the charm of it just looking a bit uncanny, playing a bit uncanny that adds to the unease when you're playing. So overall, I enjoyed it. Got uh, scared a few times. It is an older game. I know many people have already seen this game before, but you know, I have never played it personally and it's been several years. It feels like since I have last seen gameplay of it. So I thought I would give it a shot, but that was the convenience store by Chilla's art. If you enjoyed it, you can find it on steam and play through it yourself. I've been sister art. Thank you for watching.